Welcome back to Animal Tutorials. If you are also following me on my Facebook page or my uh, Pinterest page, you know that I recently uh, completed my first uh, corset. Here it is. <laughs> and um, sort of in that vein, <laughs> I thought it might be cute to reuse some scraps that I have from making the corset and make them into a really cute coffee cozy. I found this picture on Pinterest of a coffee sleeve like that um, well at least with the lace up back the front is mine <laughs> and uh, her name is uh, Jen G and she has a Etsy web, web shop so if you don't feel like making this yourself you can always purchase one from her um, but I have just this up a little bit making it look a little bit like more like an actual corset so if you want to know how to make a corset coffee cozy then keep on watching for this project you will need the following. You will need a fairly sturdy fabric. Now I'm using a scrap bit of couture since I have it because I was corset making, but you could also use something like canvas or jeans or something like, just something a little bit sturdy to give body. You will need a pretty fabric. Um, I'm using scrap bits of silk, but you can also take a really nice quilting, um, cotton or something like that with a cute pattern on it or something. And I'm using a bit of felt as an interliner, sort of like as a an isolator uh, in order to keep your hands obviously cool and like, drink warm. You will need a couple of tools. Um, you will need your sewing machine, you will need an iron, you will need a hammer. Um, an awl is very handy if you want to set the grommets that we're going to be doing um, today. Uh, you need a, a set of, of grommets and, and these little um, dies that come with it in order to set them. A fabric pencil a ruler might be handy, uh, scissors, and you need some needle and thread done. And you need a pattern. I just uh, got this from the internet. I printed it out um, from Coffee Cozy Templates by Jenny Baker. I just googled uh, template Coffee Cozy and um, it spit out this. <laughs> now, uh, normal Coffee Cozy sort of have a slightly more slanted angle, so, but I want my corset to lace up in a v-shape um, <clears throat> like this so what I did is I took the template and actually bent it around the cup and cut it so that oh, upside down <laughs> uh, so that when you bend it around the cup it ends up in a v-shape like that so that's what you want I'm gonna start off by taking my pattern and laying that on top of my cotille or your canvas or whatever you're using and I'm gonna just pin this with two pins and I'm gonna draw around this and I'm also gonna draw slightly bigger around it in order to give a um, seam allowance. Now I think in this case probably one centimeter of seam allowance is, is enough So step one is to copy the pattern and cut it out of your support fabric, in this case couture. Now out of your felt, cut the shape actually through to size, you don't need a seam allowance for this because you don't want the seams to get too bulky and this is just going to go in between the other two fabrics so it doesn't really need a seam. Now what I do is I use the cotille as a template for the silk. If you don't have any felt you can also use some um, polyester wadding or something like that. Now what you want to do is lay the silk and the cotille right sides together. And on top of that you place the felt in this in place. And now what you want to do is take your sewing machine and stitch along the edge here. And I would start with three sides and that way you can still turn it. When you hit the corner uh, it's easy to put the needle inside the fabric and then lift up your foot and turn it around uh, 90 degrees and then lower it again. When you've stitched all three sides, now I've hit the 
felt here and there a little bit so it will actually stay in place which is fine um, you'll have to turn it and I found actually a um, conventional ruler is actually kind of handy to poke out the corners this is a bit of a pain with the cotille it's quite stiff Something pointy to poke out the corners as well. Using a pair of scissors here. All right. When it's turned, you definitely want to give this a iron over, or even press it with a wet towel. And um, when you iron this, make sure <clears throat> that you try and manipulate it so that the silk is only showing on the front, and that the um, the support fabric is only at the back. And once you've ironed it, it looks like uh, this. What you now want to do is turn these end bits in and fold them neatly. Fold them over the piece of, piece of felt. And once you got to this stage, you want to top stitch along the edge. And this is what it looks like when you're all the way around. It's much flatter as well. What we now want to do is figure out where we want our uh, grommets to be. It's handy to use a ruler and check so they're even. And once you've marked, I'm doing, I'm putting in six in total, so three on each side. I'll mark them there. You want to take your hole and pierce the hole there where you marked it. take the grommets. Now I have two park grommets here, they're four millimeters, um, but these are not suitable for uh, corsets <clears throat> because they splay at the back, but they're fine for this kind of crafty project. So take your top hat part and put that on the right side of the fabric and push it through if it fits. Nope. So I have to go a bit bigger with my old push the top hat part through the hole, like so. Make sure that all the threads are nice around it. And take the washer and put that at the back there. And then take the dies that you should have gotten with your kit. Put the, um, the flat one underneath. This thing on top. And hit it a couple of times with a hammer. And that is what that looks like now. Front and back. Rinse and repeat for all six. <laughs> right, we got all six of the grommets uh, in now. And um, what I thought would be nice to do here is, is to make two fake boning channels and do some flossing. Like you would with an actual corset. For those of you that uh, that don't know much about corsetry. Flossing is just a type of embroidery that you see in corsets. What I'm gonna do is mark the center here, which is ten and a half, just very lightly, and then mark one centimeter beside that on either side. Also figure out what the middle is. For me that's eleven, and then two and a half centimeters on either side of that. I'm gonna mark very lightly. Now I'm gonna take my ruler and draw, connect the line at two and a half and one centimeter here at the bottom. So, so lightly diagonal. It's gonna be our sewing line for our fake boning channels. So you have sort of a V-shaped pattern at the front. So I'm gonna sew over that. I'm also now gonna sew next to those two lines on the outside, uh, using the, the sewing machine foot as a guide for um, a centimeter next to it. So what you end up with is two fake boning channels. And what I thought would be really cute like, is to do some flossing. So take a sewing thread in a contrasting color, and I'm using a double thread. Since I don't really care what it looks like on the back, I'm just gonna do two small stitches to secure my thread at the back. And I'm 
I'm gonna come to the front, just a tiny bit to the left of the center bottom there. You wanna go diagonally up to the top, and from there you wanna go across to the other side. You wanna come down and go to the just on the other side of the center on the right, and go and I go horizontal to just beside that first stitch there. I'm gonna come up and across like so. And then down to just beside that first stitch there and into the lower corner into the lower corner there and then one more time go up up and across and finishing off in this lower corner here you have this sort of crisscrossy flust and rinse and repeat on the top obviously as well last thing to do is lace up your um, little um, coffee sleeve so um, I'm going to take this ribbon and I like the first one to run over top. Now you can take your cup and tighten it. And as you can see this is great because you can use it for almost any size of cup. Because you can adjust it with a little bit of ribbon. A bow. And that is what it looks like, and it's all done. If you want to make it even fancier and more uh, corset-like, you can use a little bit of bias tape and um, put that along the top and bottom edge. I didn't do it here because I didn't think it was really necessary, but if you want to make it even more pretty, you could do that. I really hope you like this make your own corset coffee sleeve idea uh, and you try it out. If you do, uh, please show me your pictures on Instagram and um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you on the wonderful social media or next week. Bye everyone!